Hello everybody, it's JJ B Dude here, and you're watching the Skate Industry News of the Week. It's tough right now in the industry for companies to survive. iPath have just realised this as they've had to release a bunch of skaters to cut costs. Now I read an interesting interview over on ESPN with Ryan Lay. He explains how him, Ben Rayborn and Jaws all left after things started going bad. Now fortunately for Ryan, he's managed to go flow with Lakai, but for Jaws... He's not getting anything at the moment. That guy needs a solid pair of shoes on his feet because he's jumping off big stuff all the time and that's going to hurt your souls. Now if we're going to play the blame game, we have to blame the big companies such as Nike and Adidas coming into the skateboarding industry in the first place. Shoe companies are finding it increasingly difficult to stay afloat thanks to these new companies coming in and taking up all their business. ES are going to be stopping their operations next month and it looks like iPath are set to go the same direction. So next time you buy a pair of skate shoes, stop for a moment and think, are you supporting the company you really should be supporting? Last week I told you how Alex Olsen has just joined a Nike SB team. Well I suppose it's out with the old and in with the new, as Danny Super and a bunch of others have been on Nike for quite a while have just been kicked off the roster. Now Danny is obviously least pleased with this decision as he's been tweeting how everybody at Nike is sucking off Coston. This tweet had an image attached with it. The image says, fuck Nike skateboarding. Now I've always really liked Danny skating. He's one of the few people that can do tricks like big spin inward heels and fakie 360 heel flips. But like I was saying, it's a tough world. I suppose he just wasn't getting the attention that Nike needed. He's a very talented skateboarder though, so hopefully another company will pick him up soon. And the last bit of news to share with you this week is a shout out to Kelly Hart. The poor guy is going to be out of skateboarding for the whole of 2012 after a terrible ankle snap, torn ligaments breaking horribleness. The Berwicks have a segment called the Medical Leave of Absence. They got Kelly Hart and had an interview with him. And he explains how he would just like to walk within the next six months. His legs in a horrible massive cast and they show video footage of him getting his ankle checked out, ligament damage and all that. So if you want to go watch it, I'll put up a link. It is kind of worth watching. Bless the guy. I'll take it for it to be me. And now moving on to the top five clips of the week, which I recommend you check out. Now, Paul Rodriguez recently went over to the Transworld Park to film an interview for their 30 top most influential skateboarders of all time. After he was done with the interview, he got to skate the park. We've got one minute worth of footage to show of him here. Now, it was only a few years ago I thought to myself, you never see any pro skateboarders doing switchback smiths. Thankfully for me, Paul Rodriguez has answered my prayers as he does a sick one down the hubber here. And the last trick he does is a switch kick flip back lip slide down the rail. Now, I can't even begin to comprehend how difficult that trick must be. Just doing a normal switch back lip on a flat bar boggles my mind. Now throwing a flip with it down a rail? Next level poor Rodriguez, I forget how crazy you are. Now Tony Hawk shared with us this week that his new YouTube channel Ride is going to be uploading clips every week from 20 plus different shows. One of these shows is called Tony's Crew, and the first video from that playlist is the one I want you to watch. A bunch of the guys from the Birdhouse team got to skate Tony Hawk's pools outside the back of his house. Now the trick worth noting from me is Sean Hale doing the feeble grind to fakey. Anybody that's ever tried a feeble grind on coping from transition is going to know it's a lot harder than doing it on a rail. Sean's one was about 10 feet long here and he went in fakey. Pretty damn impressive. Third clip for you to watch this week comes from Frasher. It's webisode number 13 of the King of the Road 2011. Now this episode showed to me why Lakai did deserve to win last year. Mark Johnson can do big flip back tails on six foot quarter pipes while he's naked. Mike Moe gets the worst haircut I've probably ever seen. And Guy Mariano does switch 360 flip front lips down a handrail. Oh yeah. Rest of the video is highlights and funny bits from the rest of the tour from all the other teams. It's worth checking out so be sure you do. And the last two clips are double from Dave Paczynski. It was nearly five years ago that Dave Paczynski brought out a Hubba mini ramp skateboarding video where some of the most technical flip trick stalls I've ever seen went down. Bit more bliss from Paczynski on the mini ramp for you now as he skates the mini scene in the Vox warehouse. Fakey 360 heel flip rocks and frontside nose blunt switch back heels in are just a couple of the crazy tricks on show in this video. 
best thing about it though is that a bunch of the tricks he does, he does back to back, showing off how consistent he is. And the last clip for you to see is Dave Paczynski skating a street spot in a ditch. The video is titled Crazy Trick 2012 and for a good reason. Paczynski does a fakie 270 hill flip nose pick. And that bank to me looked quite steep which makes it even more gnarly. And that's me done for another week. As always if you have any suggestions or improvements then please be sure to comment and let me know. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe and hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. This is JJB Dude, over and out. If you didn't watch last week's episode, then you should! Click the video to see how I explain Rob Deerdeck is not a sellout and what he's actually done for skateboarding. Russia. It's webisode episode number f webisode episode this week that his YouTube channel Ride is going to be showing <laughs> Tony Hawk shared with us this week that oh, Jason. The third clip for you this week comes from Frasher. 